Have you seen the guy that drove a car that was last time registered 10 years ago and he tries to talk to the cops not to tow him? No, it doesn't even sound exciting though. That sounds underwhelming. Okay, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna catch up here. With those fences, but maybe even before that. Here, let me let me see the spike. You just don't know who's so chat said it's very around. slow. Obviously, it's. it's <clears throat> It's, it's almost, you definitely, yeah, you, you get that cat and mouse sense mentality. He got off of Rosecrans onto Willowbrook, then turned yeah, around. Yeah, he's not exactly he's drifting around anywhere. U -turn, so we've now three, seen three successive U-turns. Here comes a possible pit maneuver. He is certainly doing right about the ideal speed for a pit maneuver. Now, of course, he's going to speed Yeah, like the speed bit, limit. That was a great opportunity there, and you can see there's not a lot of other collateral uh, in the way here, so a perfect area to execute a Makes pit a if they have Brit the opportunity. The prime bug. Fishtail the vehicle out of control, but there he is. He's coming out the other end there, uh, now pulling back on to... This is by my house, Alameda, I can hear so the helicopter. He going, well, get out and do uh, something. What yeah, the fuck? Back on Alameda, and it doesn't look like they made contact. Are you with serious? Him. You thought for a second that they were going to pull up right behind him. Protect your community. That pit, but it does not look like uh, they made contact with the rear. Bro, this is the slowest chase. Yeah, it's not, it's not very fast. Boxed in here. Look at this. Over the double yellow lines, through another red light here, going around all that traffic. No cross traffic. They're going to make it with. This is such right a common now. occurrence in LA now. Boulevard, uh, where there was this is a crazy. stale red, but no traffic, fortunately. And there's the night sun. That is LA County Thanks Sheriff's Brian. night sun e shining a light on him again, or giving e him the e all e the awareness he needs to know that they he has eyes on him from hey, Edgar. every angle imaginable. Look at this railroad tracks. Do they go through the railroad tracks with them? One, two. Potentially a third. Look at Why them all going I? through the railroad crossing as the gates are about to drop. Oh! Almost had, I mean, this has a uh, this has a video game feel to it, Mark. And some of these drivers. Yeah, the slowest games, game ever. What do you mean? As if they are in the middle of a video game, and certainly uh, some of the stuff we're seeing here tonight, prime crispy. Uh, gives you that feel. But anyways, they all made it through the railroad crossing with him as the gates were about to come down. Now he's on one of these side streets. We'll see. If he decides to dump the vehicle, again, this was a stolen vehicle, and when it's a stolen vehicle, you never know how much gas is in the tank. It could be a full tank, it could be a quarter tank or less, true. and he starts running true, 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 out, true. and then he has to look for a spot to just run for it. He oh, just, right over the speed bump. He's not going to come out with his hands up, but we could be wrong, and hopefully he does. In any event, these side streets provide lots of hiding opportunities if he doesn't. And so they will have plenty of units in the area with the assistance of L.A. County Sheriff to form a perimeter if he starts to hide out. But now he's on an alleyway. Exit resub, Pete. Again, all CHP here that we're looking at. But, again, you have to imagine that uh, the Sheriff's Department is uh, working to get their way into the area because they are going to need some help here in the event they have to you know, form a the prime area bumper. or a perimeter. Crazy that this is a sport in the city. Yeah, isn't that wild? Okay, let's let's skip along Hand here. Hand off to the local CHP closer to recap that. Wait. It it really is kind of a Maybe what, even that slower chase. On just another head-on situation there. He goes around, swerves around him, but tech. again, notice the slow speed here. He is conserving fuel and maybe on borrowed time in terms of the gas tank. We'll see here, but for some reason, the driving has slowed down. Uh, dramatically. It's almost like a police escort at this point. Yep. Nope. Yep, yep. Would have been a good place, but uh, you, 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 once again, the oh, sweet. likelihood Thanks, of a pit maneuver just went up again because at these speeds, this is the perfect situation. Most of these streets are pretty desolate as you can see at this time of the night not a whole lot of traffic lots of commercial warehouses no collateral damage slow crawl by and that'll okay that's an access road this will pay, take you i am surprised they're not pit maneuvering his one, ass here those, eggs, uh, those kind of like uh access roads that could take you off of rosecrans onto in this case spring street 
He made a, just a few days ago, you can't forget that pursuit on Friday where there was a getaway vehicle ready under an overpass. Mm -hmm. the that was cool. Away and the pursuit continued. So even if the vehicle's on borrowed time, if he's determined and has a network in this neighborhood, uh, he may have any different tracks. Since he's been off the tire, looks a little wobbly with neighborhoods, but I, it still looks like the vehicle's, you know, driving okay, I guess, okay. It's Actually, just very slow. Tire, Looks a little wobbly. What do you think, Rob? Can we push in there? It does look like that front tire is I can't see shit. There's a tree there. In my imagination, it, it appears a little bit wobbly, but it, again, it could be an optical illusion. Yeah, it looks pretty normal to me, Chuck. Uh, well, it's definitely not flat. That was a good shot there. Nice close up as he makes this illegal U turn. At you skipped the Avenue, spike? I don't uh, think so. The going, spike happened not uh, too long ago. Again on Rosecrans. Uh, you can count the units there, upwards of a half a dozen, as he slowly reverses course on Rosecrans and just barely making that right turn now onto McDivitt Avenue, another residential You did street. skip it? Where was it? This. He may be... There's little tubes, spike, and that in this neighborhood. Uh, he may have the Hey, I uh, want to watch this chase. To, uh, Come on. Some. I know. This guy's, yeah, this guy's really, I've he's going through so, it right now. So well. He just switched on. vehicles, Come on up. Uh, Come pulled on a watch. switcheroo under the overpass. Uh, but in any event, Come on. Uh, uh, there's the spike. There's the spike. Oh, I missed it. There's the spike. And Where? And that looks like it was an event. Uh, uh, there's the spike. There's the spike. There's the spike. That and looks like it was not even close. So so well he just jumped, switched vehicles uh pulled a switcheroo under the overpass uh but in any event not, uh, oh it was pretty spike. close there's yeah the nice there's the spike and that looks like it was a successful spike strip that was a really clever spike that was a pretty lengthy spike strip uh i didn't even see it right away and i don't think he saw it either ran right over it he's and we'll live on kick vehicle starts to behave if it behaves any differently no, that sounds like right a joke now, if it was a good spike Definitely not flat. You can a little speed over that speed bump. But it does not look like those tires are running flat. Uh, the hazards, yeah, that's his hazard lights. They have been on for a chunk of time. I, I'm that's not nice. sure if they were on at the very beginning, but uh, they've been playing for some a little while. The prime those, Onigen, Reese, uh, Rebecca. those rear view mirrors which we've mentioned they have been uh, uh, hanging off by ever since that, I think ever since he made contact with those fences. It's real. Maybe even right, before I'll that. Um, so he has I doubt it, though. Mirrors, just the one in his, in his uh, in, you know, inside the vehicle. What would that category be? But yeah, the hazards are on. The lights have just been on criming? the whole time. Just difficult to see. We were able to get a glimpse Fucking of the passenger seat, right. which is empty. So that, we that, don't know for sure. You want me to swing it? No. This guy is not the guy in the chase. Uh, that's a northbound turn. It's just the guy on the road. Uh, let's count once again, Mark or, or, or Rob. I just want to see. He's got three, four. The cops did just blow by though. Units. And by the way, I think some of these units may have actually been. No, there is a guy live original, on yeah, Kick saying the, uh, IRL car chase, but he's not the actual suspect. He's just a guy in LA which, uh, listening to the police chase. Par for the course here once you switch into uh, the CHP South LA division. Both may be deflating. He's now at Compton Boulevard. Is the resub gene? And there's a better beam. shot. Look at that. Yeah, they're both. Actually, both. So the right tires hit the spike. It looks like maybe the left tires were spared. But those, both of those right tires, the front and the rear, are now basically down to the rim. The yeah, this chase kind of sucks. There's no air left, and he is riding on those rims. That's where that smoke is coming from. That is going to dramatically affect the steering of this car. It's only a... Is there some exactly the in the prime bluesy? Maybe a uh, slightly older model. Can't say for sure, but this vehicle, I think we can say now, is on borrowed time. 
I mean, it's still going, so she's she's really got some some steam to her. It looks like the back seat's empty, but there's something. Is, is that his hand? I'm trying to make out what is sticking. Is that? I think that might be a cell phone. Actually, it might be a, a shot of his cell phone through that front uh, window, which is rolled down. Uh, I thought he was sticking it out the window for a second, but you can see the display from. He actually is on his phone. It's not the. I, I have the kick stream up. It's not the guy streaming on kick, but this guy is on something. I don't know what it is. Must, maybe he's just on the phone, but it looks like there's some blue down here, so it looks like it's some yeah, kind that, of app. I think that might be a cell phone, actually. It might be a, a shot of his cell phone through that front uh, window, which is... Oh, right yeah, maybe he's uh, on I Facebook he Live right now. out the window for a second, but you can see the display from, I think, a cell phone. Uh, so he's driving with his right hand. Looks like he's got a cell phone in his left hand. And, uh, you know, worth reiterating, the speeds still not really breaching 35 or 40 mi miles per hour, so... It's turned into a bona fide joy ride at this rate, but it's not going to end. Not going to end well for him, uh, and he's not going to make it easy. You just don't get that impression. But again, hopefully he does. Hopefully, he, hopefully he's using this time to think about things a little bit more clearly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, I'm sure that's what he's using this time for. He's a career criminal and just, Man, what was uh, I doing? Is Why did I do this to myself? Can we'll see what happens. I can't believe I've event, done this. Those right tires are now done. And the speeds have been affected as he's now making his way down Long Beach Boulevard. Northbound Long Beach Boulevard at about 30 miles per hour. Coming up on Cedar Avenue here in Compton. And again, he's a, a fresh silly. pursuit package now in tow. These I guess that's a good point. CHP's We're just going to sit here and slowly watch him run out of gas. Awesome. <laughs> cool chase. Why even bother? Just hit this. If, just pull over. Just be like, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I didn't know I couldn't do that. There's a prime blur. Maybe he's banking on, like, staying up super late driving around and everyone falls asleep in the police department. So the helicopter pilot's like, alright guys, I gotta go home. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to snooze. Same with the cops. And he's like, alright, I win. Just a war of attrition. Yeah, and, and the longer this goes on, I, I think you, there's no choice but to wonder why. Why haven't they done it sooner? Now, again, we're armchair quarterbacks. These guys are working with intelligence about the suspect, about the other crimes that may be involved here. A lot of information that we don't have. So, again, take all this with a grain of salt, but why are they letting this go so long when I have seen many opportunities for a very safe pit maneuver that would have brought this most likely to an end. Now, maybe it could be that after his maneuver earlier... Jesus Christ. What is the point? More carefully about that because they know that At least do like some donuts or something on the way out. He Holy fuck. There's like a 180 and he's then face to face Jesus. with those officers. He has no problem if the vehicle would set up at least... And this is still time going time right now? Time How? Sure. Just go home. <laughs> Just go home. Maybe he is. This re it looks like it's finally over. Yep, those yeah. The front this is right so embarrassing. Right oh my god. Uh, we have seen some sparks flying. I think that's actually coming from uh, the bumper, but we have seen some smoke coming from, I think, the remainder of the rubber. Uh, in any event, he is now uh, zigzagging his way once again. Zigzagging? Are we watching the same thing? Residential neighborhood, and I He's hesitate to call slowly pitter-pattering down the street. He may very well uh, be more familiar with these. He's terms, running on so two tiddly winks of uh, tires. Really 
in any position to outrun these officers, uh, not at these speeds and certainly not in the condition of the vehicle. Uh, he knows that he's on borrowed time. He knows better than we do. Yeah, it's, it is literally giving out right now. And, you know, uh, while, uh, as crazy as this pursuit has been at times... And as it can't even fully make this... Oh, speed, God. Uh, this Got a little second wind. More than a joyride for the last however many minutes. I mean, this has really been just a casual cat and mouse game with these officers. Cat and mouse game? It hasn't even been that. No distance between They're just him watching him slowly bleed out gas. More sparks coming off there. That front right rim is probably going to be the first one to go here. That is really... Is a prime gamer. It's a front-wheel drive car, and I, I don't guess, think... Sylvie. It looks like that rim is already starting to come apart. Oh, jinkies. Holy fuck. If somebody just threw a banana peel down here Mario Kart style, it might be enough at this point. Hey man, at least he's being safe. Yeah, just but just but just pull over at this point. This car is it's like going jogging speed. Like just why even bother? Fifty CC. <laughs> yeah, it's a fifty CC yeah, chase. I, I mean, I, while we're while we're on the topic, something very similar happened to me many years ago. Seeing my own car pull out of my driveway. Oh, I thought he was going to say his chase. My car drive in the opposite direction, only to be found days later in uh, pretty similar condition, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks, it was damn. Monte Carlo, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I'm getting so much lore on the caster. I see why he's so attached to these police chases now. He's like Batman. The thing he feared most was his car being stolen, so he became a car chase commentator. That's yeah, L.A. Living. Somebody, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Seth Rogen loves it, though. He Remember he made that uh, whole tweet about his car being broken into 15 times and how he's always excited enemy. when it happens or whatever? Uh, not what I would expect. I kind what of a saint. Based on the driving and the circumstance here, you felt like he was just kind of taking it easy, but he looks angry. He, he looked very animated there for a minute, and uh, that is not a good sign, I have to say. I mean, that you know, I was hoping, really hoping that with the – the turn of events and the condition of the vehicle that he would have some time to calm down, but he is still very energetic and was uh, clearly yelling at somebody there. Not sure uh, what that was all about. In any event, continuing now northbound Long Beach Boulevard. Normally, uh, a much busier. Oh my God! <laughs> How is he still going? Tuesday night. What the fuck? A lot of pedestrians out. You still see uh, the helicopter circling this pursuit you see some of the neighboring jurisdictions here the it's like the world's saddest macy's kind of thanksgiving day parade in some cases like all the cars are just the stopped and they're all just like waiting for him to slowly fucking dinkly drive by uh, fucking wave on the way driving pretty steady here christ the fact that those just right stop <laughs> god uh, damn he's managing to maintain about 25 miles per hour now uh on long beach boulevard so it has not slowed him down entirely, at least not yet. But if he stays here, maybe they'll have the opportunity. Yeah, it looks like even he's asleep. Uh, and uh, I was about to say, if he stays on this track, certainly a possibility they may be able to set up for another spike strip at least on the uh, on the driver's side. Oh. I think one speed bump will be the end of this story. Can we maybe try and like funnel him do towards like a speed bump? Cause there's no way this fucking thing makes it over it like the little engine that could. That's that's in game. 
Now let's just set up like a little blockade, push him down one of these yeah. side streets that likely has yeah, a speed fact, bump, I, and I, call I, it a day. Every, almost every time that we've even been able to peek through that driver's side window, uh, he's had that phone on, whether he's texting somebody, calling somebody, or like you said, maybe streaming ABC7 at this point. Who knows? Uh, but that is <laughs> True. most likely uh, what those watch commanders are doing. I really like fact, this commentator. Uh, back at the CHP station, probably he probably is watching, watching the stream. Picture right now as he continues to maneuver through South LA here in Compton. Uh, this time he's make, made that turn onto uh, MLK Boulevard. And you see now CHP creating... He can't even get up to 35 miles per hour. That's just a mockery now at this point. coming to a stop. The vehicle slowing down even more. Oh, if it stops on the stop, though, that'd be so good. And slowing down even more. It's a, it's a, it's a, a stop sign. But he's barely going to make it through this intersection. I think the vehicle is starting to give him problems. We've said that before, and he's, you know, gassed it. You know, Thanks to give sub Jello. You know, continue the pursuit, but uh, I think he is. He's really. Yeah, at that really point, Sylvia, I'm just going to back up just officers. a little bit to be safe. They are ready to bring this oh, here we go. There could be a speed bump here. There could be a speed bump, which may as well be a landmine at this point. Because that car will be fucked on it. To run on foot. Um, but uh, we'll see what kind of stamina he's got left here. He is uh, certainly, uh, that last time that we saw him was pretty animated behind the wheel of the car. Look at this cross traffic here at the stop sign, continuing through that. No, driver. no speed Got bumps yet. D do speed bumps exist in LA? Sirens coming through here, and now he comes back out God on the damn it. side <laughs> of oh. that residential street, back onto Long Beach Boulevard. This time, though, making a right turn onto the southbound side of Long Beach Boulevard, and once again, able to keep that wheel steady and pretty much driving in a straight 24 line. Miles 24 hour, miles per hour, huh? Per hour, uh, despite the fact that he is missing two right mm. tires. Basically down to the rims. The left tires appear to be in good shape, <laughs> and he's now going through a major red here. It is, Long Beach. <laughs> this is the 20th highway. fucking intersection where all the cars are just stopped knowing it's coming and just waiting. He's been hesitant like, come on, Bozo, can you fucking hurry this up? Which would put him into Linwood. Can you just drive by now? But in any event, uh, he's heading in that direction now. So he's made plenty of U-turns, and if history is any indicator, he will probably make another U-turn soon here as he ventures. He can't make a U-turn. He won't. The car can't do it. Most comfortable, and he started this pursuit over an hour ago in this general vicinity. He has ended up here. Hard to imagine that he's going to get too far away from here, but uh, with the pressure behind him. He may, anything's possible, right? So, we'll see as he continues. Oh my Northern god! Uh, Why? Why are you even Walmart. bothering? Look at this! Look at this! Still Look at what? Able to accelerate at a decent clip. He's accelerating? I can't even tell. Bypassing the entrance ramp there, had an opportunity to get on the freeway, and now he's going uh, uh, a tick faster. What do we say? About 40 miles per hour? Right around 40, 45 miles per hour as he accelerates underneath the 105 freeway into Linwood. Uh, or am I, am I right about that? Is he in, are we still... This is going to be a fucking three-hour chase. This car is running off of dreams. I guess we're, we're now actually worrying... It's transcendent in gas. Anyway, southbound Long Beach Boulevard. Uh, oh my god, it's fucking cruising! Where did this come from? Maybe more than a little bit of distance between himself and that primary did he run over like a like a right like a gas side, pump or something really that gave him some juice far back is that lead unit we've got one unit about eight car lengths back speeding okay up he, he him, i think he's fucked now turn no u-turn just no, a maybe not. turn now onto carlin avenue back into a residential neighborhood more sparks flying from that front right rim and how many other of those units were able to make that turn are they all still behind him my guess is yes. One, two, three, four. Four units. Four CHP units. Thanks to the resub. Still the lead Skosh. agency in this pursuit. Uh, despite everything we've seen here this evening. And it makes perfect sense when you consider the fact that he has literally rammed into police vehicles during the course of this pursuit. Uh, now making a right turn onto Bullis Road. Off of Carl. Uh. You see the sheriff's helicopter still... Up in the air. This is the worst police chase ever. 
these intersections doing really tight orbits. The police chase where they tracked or stopped the drunk Amish buggy was more high octane than this. Narrower streets, less likely that we'll see a pit maneuver here. But I doubt. Why would they pit maneuver here around like other cars and shit? They would have done it in the vacant back alley. They're not gonna pit maneuver him. Light traffic overall, but certainly the danger exists nonetheless. I mean, especially if he's still able to accelerate through some of these intersections, uh, anything is possible. And we certainly uh, don't even want to use our imaginations because we have certainly seen uh, what some of these people are capable of. And uh, you just hope that this ends in a peaceful fashion or at least a peaceful resolution. You just hope it ends in general. Uh, so this car may never stop. Road, of it's like the train from Snowpiercer. After we saw more sparks flying, out of the right side Just of the pit road. maneuver him here. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> There's fucking nothing. God damn it. Oh, that was the slowest turn of all time. Just put him out of his own misery here. This car, like this, the car has gone through enough at this point. Please. What is this thing? A, a Kia? Have mercy on it. He's the bits turtle in the prime ocelot. I have no yeah, idea, the, turtle. Uh, the calculations that he's making here, and certainly some of the behavior that we're seeing, makes you wonder, uh, at least possible and worth raising the question, if he's under the influence. We know the original. The answer is yes. GTA, Grand Theft Auto, uh, but you know, there's nothing saying that could, can't be. Uh, you know, might be other things at play here, and if he is under the influence, that will certainly uh, play into how this all ends up but he is doing a circle around this neighborhood now on mcmillan street at bradfield coming back up to bullis north bullis road if he makes a right turn that'll be the direction he came in here uh but he's basically circling these neighborhoods oh did he hit a speed bump i wasn't looking it made it uh, but he, he made it over a speed uh, bump speeding over a number of speed bumps which are a real challenge for those oh fuck i, I those, zoned uh, out i wasn't looking right wheels especially considering uh even those rims are on, on really borrowed. I mean, at some point, if he accelerates too much, he will eat right through those rims, and eventually you've got nothing left but axle. We're not there yet. You can still see the rims uh, <laughs> spinning there, but Thanks, at Arisa. some point. Knuckle in the rain, beauty. Thank you for that. And congrats. Good shit. Things are the bits realist. Yeah, especially for a Kia, right? I mean, it's a small, compact vehicle. I mean, these are not... Oh, my uh, God, just... Trucks and, and what is the point? <laughs> Why is he still going? Numerous times, and they can go all uh, night long. We had one uh, maybe just about six months ago that went for, like, eight hours down the freeway, even at a snail's pace. Eight hours? tire on the 18-wheeler uh, was flattened by spike strips. Uh, the thing just kept on going. This is not that. This what? is a, a small, compact vehicle uh, that is uh, not designed to endure this type of uh, this type of um, of damage. So he's kind of just weaving his way through here, uh, Bradfield. We were here just a moment ago. Now turning off at K. He's on Bradfield, and now his next major here is Rosecrans. He'll turn westbound onto Rosecrans. <laughs> this guy, this guy's leaning out, clapping. I wasn't in a fucking fire angle there. This has actually turned into a sport in LA. And taking pictures and video while they're at it here. Man, maybe this really will go eight hours. I kind of want to go fill up my water, but I don't want to miss anything. If there's anything to miss, there. You know what? I'm actually, I, I'm actually going to do that here. I'll, uh, I give you like a like a a minute buffer here. <laughs> I'll be right really back. Far. I'm fucking I mean, thirsty. Point, I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. If he accelerates anything. too much, he will eat right through those. You can watch this guy clap for him again. Axel, we're not there yet. 
you can still see the rims uh, spinning there, but at some point, they will start to come apart. Yeah, especially for a Kia, right? I mean, it's a small, compact vehicle. I mean, these are not uh, heavy-duty trucks. And, and we've seen semis that have been spiked numerous times, and they can go all night long. We had one uh, maybe just about six months ago that went for like eight hours down the freeway, even at a snail's pace, after every tire on the 18-wheeler uh, was flattened by spike strips. Uh, the thing just kept on going. This is not that. This is a, a small, compact vehicle uh, that is uh, not designed to endure this type of uh, this type of um, of damage. So he's kind of just weaving his way through here. Uh, Bradfield, we were here just a moment ago, now turning off at K. He's on Bradfield, and now his next major here is Rosecrans. He'll turn westbound onto Rosecrans. And I imagine, look at that, somebody is aware of it and sticking their cell phone out the window. So you already are starting to see some of the spectators out here familiar with this pursuit, aware of this pursuit, and taking pictures and video while they're at it here. And I think it's fair to say at this point, we could say pretty confidently that this is now a tactic that they are using here. This They have made a determined decision to let this continue because now over the course of the last hour, we can say with confidence, there have been many opportunities to end this in other ways. They have made the calculation that that's not what they want to do, not the safest uh, course of business. So in this case, they have used one spike strip uh, maybe they try for another, but other than that, they are just going to continue to follow him at these speeds. Unless something dramatically changes, uh, they will follow him to the very end. Again, they can swap out units all night long until that tank is empty. Might be a very I'm back. Uh, call during the day too, but at night, and this has been the pattern all night. Thanks, Risa, Mitch, Tommy, and the Prime tonight. Joe and Pizza. Night, not a whole lot of people out, just occasionally a few cars at the lights, but that's about it. And so, why not, right? If they feel that it's endurance safe, build, this, this is safer than the alternative. Yeah, endurance build. Do. And uh, I was actually, yeah, he's probably just as surprised as we are that the car's still rolling. But yeah. He's uh, enjoying every minute of it. Thank and, you, Brian uh, Hardy. If he is under the influence, that has been, in, which has been the case many, many times, uh, where they enjoy their last uh, smokes and their last uh, beer in the driver's seat uh, before going to jail. In any case, we don't know that that's the case here. No indication. Uh, I'm just going to tell you it's uh, probably the case. Our information that he's under the influence, but certainly the behavior has been very erratic and a little bit aggressive at times. Uh, nice, which Sylvie. Is, a little bit surprising to me, but again, he's got his now left hand on the wheel, and his right hand, I'm, I can't tell if he still has the phone, or if it's something, it, 
Uh, and he's like shaking bottle? something. It looks like a bottle. Yep. Is it? You go. Oh, it is. Well. Nice. Just as we were saying, may, may, very well may be enjoying his last beer. You never know. <laughs> it seems like that might be the case. Oh no! Wait, he's doing whippets. He 100% just did a fucking whip it, didn't he? That is a, my man, that is not a beer. This guy is doing whippets. What the fuck? <laughs> that absolutely explains it. That's why he's shaking it. Yep, wow. What a absolute degenerate. Holy shit. Even more so than I already knew him to be. Uh, definitely a little bit more weaving than he was. I was pretty, uh, pretty surprised he was able to keep it as straight as he was, but it now looks like that vehicle is behaving a little bit differently. Uh, still, those right rims, by the way, the rubber's completely gone, so the tires have flown off. I haven't heard them say that yet, Sylvia, but I might have it's missed it. Pure Things rim it's Rebecca on and Ron. asphalt, and... Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ron, that's awful. Still carrying the vehicle, but I think you're right. I think it's starting to affect... Thanks to the resub rain. Uh, in any event, made a turn now back onto Carlin Avenue, uh, again, worth noting that these are all streets. In fact, every turn he's made in the last few minutes has been uh, repeat adventures. Uh, he has been on all of these streets multiple times, essentially doing. They a are repeat adventures. What may or may not be his neighborhood. He has uh, certainly made the decision to stay around here, and you know, again, always worth repeating. This is where it all started, at least. In this part of town, so hey, no worries uh, at all, Ron. You can draw your own conclusions. It may very well turn out to be his neighborhood. The AI stuck in a loop. Yeah, and he definitely does have the infinite gas cheat on too. That's an awful combination. This might just be an eight-hour chase. It really might. Good lord. Why don't they do something other than chase him? I thought they would have pit maneuvered him in some of the desolate areas they visited, but I guess not. They might just have different laws out there for how to handle these, because we've never actually seen them You're act. You're absolutely right. The endurance level, the adrenaline spikes, they are very real, and they come into play so much so that these officers train are trained on how to deal with those um, those roller coasters of emotions that are going through. There's a lot of multitasking going on and then there's a lot of emotions uh, during these pursuits and in this case we know that that lead eight that lead unit has been replaced at least once maybe twice uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it was even more than that even when we weren't watching or didn't catch oh it. my god out. That's a just pull into one of these driveways man take your last whip it and just <laughs> just no let it be over is fucking awful position for too long for that very reason it's something that they have done studies on they have trained on and uh, they're aware of that that is something that can complicate Whoa. the actual arrest and it can complicate the actual safety of the driving behind that the looked close. of these pursuing officers because they are human beings just like you and me and they have their own what do you just throw out the window these are stressful episodes i mean you know we are as a culture here in Los Angeles, fairly obsessed with these. They are what is he pointing at? To watch on TV, but they are oh, he's pointing at us! <laughs> hey, you fucking weirdo! Hey! We air them is for public safety first and foremost because there is so much danger involved. And one of the many dangers is that in many cases, not only uh, private citizens who get hurt, but law enforcement officers who get hurt as well. Because the driving, you have to now mirror in some cases... This, Who's he talking to, though? Maniacs driving behind the wheel of the pursuit vehicle, and then you have to try and keep up with them, or try and outsmart him, or whatever the case may be. And again, that is a, a mental exercise. It's a real workout uh, for those, all of the uh, officers involved. But like you said, especially those lead units right behind the suspect. 
Oh my. <laughs> the dude on the bike could probably just catch up to him, honestly. Like, talk him down, like, hey, just stop. Like, just, I mean, just fucking stop. Thanks to the resub trooper in fresh. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't just hit him with another spike strip. Like, they have a million. Oh, it's finally. No. It's, uh, I can't tell. Is this live? Yeah. Oh no, he just stopped to, uh, <laughs> to get some more whippets in. Look at this. Oh, they're this so, they're so excited. Of, right, because this has now been going on long enough that, as you mentioned, neighbors are well aware of the commotion. They, they are well aware of what's going on with technology. They've already received the breaking news notifications. They've got Citizen on their phone. They're aware of this. And now you start to see some people coming out to either take part in it, to catch a glimpse of it. To he's, get it yeah, he's a little or local video, celebrity now. Uh, or social media post. Uh, certainly ill-advised, but in this case, it's almost inevitable. Uh, the longer the pursuit goes on, I'm almost surprised we haven't. If seen he keeps driving, that. he can't go to jail. Uh, That's the plan. Earlier in the day, maybe we would, but in any case, we have not seen that much. But we certainly hate to see a pedestrian jump into, you know, into position anywhere near this pursuit because you just never know. Even at these slow speeds, you just never know how it's going to end. And God forbid it ends right at that moment. Violet. You then pose a and real problem fire. Uh, for law enforcement because they have to look out for crossfire situations. They have to reevaluate their use of force in a position where they might need to use force, use whatever the case may be. It's just uh, a much cleaner situation when the streets are clear, the sidewalks are clear. And that would be big brain. That indoors. would be big, big brain, and Sylvie. Certainly, uh, I hope it stays that way. It's a pretty calm night. Like I said, not a whole lot of traffic to begin with out here. Very few pedestrians, but certainly folks are uh, well aware of what is playing out in their neighborhood. Where, you know, even 10 years ago, might not have been the case. It might have taken a little longer for word to spread. You know, people say turn on the TV, and then by the time you make it to the TV, you know, whatever. But right now, everybody is well aware of what's going on here. Yep. Right you are, Chris. Oh, God. Why is he still go? How how long has this been? This has been like a little over an hour. Yeah, a little over an hour. <clears throat> Whoa, Jesus! Look at this. Uh, I mean, what was that plan? Absolutely What the fuck? The vehicle, almost as if she wanted to give him a high five. Okay, this is nothing compared to some of the things that we've seen in the past, but that type of behavior that could certainly get somebody hurt. It's really... Yeah, really what an idiot. This guy's literally doing whippets behind the wheel. I'm surprised he hasn't crashed. Clear example of what we were just talking about. What an about. absolute uh, goddamn no imbecile. Maybe they know him, and maybe they know that he's not a threat to them, but that's not the point, right? Because there is, there are so many other factors here. Um, it's just not worth it. it, it the, the danger is all too real and now we're seeing more and more people pulled over the whole these neighborhood has come out to film these this are professional photographers these are these are, these are, blast these these are neighbors who are the coming prime out shouty. to partake in the commotion out here tonight and you see a lot more people now with their phones out it's the it is the entire neighborhood yeah How has he still got gas? <laughs> I, I just don't even get it. Thanks to resub, Matt. I also just can't believe they haven't bothered to just spike the tires again. 
He's going 15. And he's doing circles. Yeah, he's unfortunately, you're right. Uh, the driving now continuing at a snail's pace back on Santa Fe Avenue. Uh, again, another major thoroughfare that we have been on plenty this evening. The lights turning green for them. And they are continuing to roll right through these intersections at no more than 25 miles per hour. Uh, it's been a while since uh, we've seen him deviate. He's been pretty much uh, on this uh, the same pattern uh, for a while, and and so I'm starting to wonder why we even haven't why we haven't even seen another uh, spike strip. That's what I just said. Yeah, those, those left tires. It's easy for me to say, but uh, I would imagine that that's something they wish they could do um, to further disable the vehicle. But uh, so far, just those right tires that have been uh, incapacitated. Now he's on two right rims and then two left tires that appear to be intact. But at these speeds, he's been able to maintain Can't someone just pull up next to him and slash the tires? Uh, probably what do you think they are? Just Police a, officer samurais uh, slash his tires with what? Yeah. Their katana on the way by? No, man. I mean, if you want to make it like an action movie, they could drive by and shoot the tires, but even that's not going to be effective like circles around they'll probably miss blocks. it's not like an easy shot to hit and it just puts all of these spectators in and, danger uh, you know it's definitely you know on tiktok you can go viral really quick so it looks like he's uh continuing through kind of almost enjoying the attention and uh we saw just a few minutes ago it looked like he was uh sipping on something he's Don't not know what it was. <laughs> it's even he wasn't sipping on what you think he was. Whatever it was, I think he polished it off because it was basically the end of the last few drops you saw. And then I think now I almost I almost saw another uh, nice well, the bits been next. A reflection. I thought I saw the cell phone. But actually his window is back up, right? His window is back up. That's all reflection at this point. So... Yeah, we haven't had a clear glimpse of him in a few minutes, but uh, it seems as though uh, he is just enjoying these last few minutes of freedom, or maybe another hour. Who knows? <laughs> Gee, I hope it's not another hour, man. I, like, like here's just a really good opportunity. You just, you, you can just pit him here. There's, we've seen one car in the last like four minutes. Just, just please, the Kia will say thank you. This car is begging to just be stopped. <laughs> like, just just a little tiny bump. Like, just a, a, a little love point, tap. Or, or at any point, do we see them change the tactic, if at all? That's exactly... Not. I mean, we've discussed why. Is the narrator just, in the stream? That is know, what I'm saying. I just said that. To the end. But uh, the slower he gets, I mean, as he makes his way into, you know, different areas. I mean, here's a, another wide open area. Still has some residences here, but... Do they pull up next to him? Do they try and communicate with him? Do they try and maybe talk some sense? Or is somebody trying to reach him? Is he calling a family member? Uh, I, you know, these are all the things that, that go through my head. Uh, or are they just riding blind behind him, uh, completely unaware of what his next move is? Now, nobody could read his mind, but, you know, again, they are usually working with more information than we are. So... We're just spectators, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, we're just spectators. Like I would imagine they've made some effort to, to find out more about the suspect and more about the crime here, but if it was a fresh stolen... Thanks, and, Mitch Parzal, uh, the resub and, juice. You know, they just caught up with the Lojack, then that might be all they are aware of. <laughs> yeah. Same. Same here. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a conscious. It has to be a conscious decision. Uh, you know, it was it was definitely intriguing at first, but it, it's clearly a tactic at this point to not employ the pit. Uh, they made the conscious decision to try the spike. Uh, they haven't tried it again, at least as far as we're aware. Uh, they must be confident that the vehicle's on borrowed time, which makes sense, and that the gas tank only has a finite amount of fuel and uh <sighs> but infinite possibilities anticlimactic at the end i'm afraid right uh, yeah yeah exactly uh, 
Thanks to the resub mill and the bits moon. That's what they're hoping, yep. Those are the only officers on, officers on the road. They're not even bothering yeah, to stop traffic South anymore. Mona Boulevard, uh, continuing towards 130th at a snail oh, speed here, God. but still in the city of Compton. We have not really left that general area. He is in Compton, maybe kind of on the edge of Willowbrook now, but uh, he's not traveled very far, hasn't covered a whole lot of real estate in the last... Uh, hour or so he's basically just circling the same if he hits a pothole that might also be the game ender at least it appears he is a known entity by some of the folks who have come out this evening certainly well no it's just going through that they're, they've all seen the stream approached the vehicle almost so they, they knew he was coming by. by you have to wonder what that was all about and you have to wonder almost uh i didn't see it i don't think that I've seen any of these units drop out, but I almost, uh, in some cases, would imagine that one of the pursuing officers would stop and talk to that woman to see if they do know who he is. Maybe they, they don't. Do they they, they, they fucking but, don't. Uh, that appeared to be somebody. They just who wanted was, a little uh, TikTok video. Was aware of the pursuit and aware that he was coming through, uh, and there's probably more of that. We're certainly seeing a lot more folks with their phones out. Uh, as he makes his way around the same general area now on East. He's prime frozen in the resub solar. Maybe Sylvie. Oh God, Jesus. Oh, man. There is just nobody here. This is just such a good opportunity. Just give, give him the lightest little bumper bump anything and the car is done. And you've done Kia a great service. So the answer is, this is pitiful. Yes, we're, not, we're, we're not aware of it. However, it certainly would be one of the things that they are considering that would explain some of the tactics that we've seen. If what? Tactics? <laughs> the tactic is, we'll wait till he runs out of gas. Already it sucks. Willingness to use it fucking sucks. As a weapon, which certainly counts as a deadly weapon. Aside from that, whether he is armed inside the vehicle, whether he's got a gun or a knife or whatever else, uh, we don't know. We have not heard reports to that effect, but that doesn't mean that they are tactical aware of patience. The vehicle, because that is also <laughs> something that, in many cases, would preclude them from attempting a pit maneuver. Uh, that that that's one of the things that makes you think twice about it's getting into a pit maneuver with somebody really. who's heavily armed. Now, it certainly happens, but it's one of the things that goes into the decision-making process, uh, and it's something that we. Have seen here and the clear intent to not pit him again uh again it could just be a coincidence but so far no reports of any weapons <laughs> right oh, yeah. jeepers creepers jiminy christmas yeah right why miles per hour. We'll go ahead and throw up our real-time speed tracker, dipping below 15 miles per hour, so really slowing down now. Back on Santa Is this Bay still Avenue. a chase? No, it's watching yeah. a wounded animal sounds familiar. slowly Trust roll familiar. around. We have been on Santa Fe numerous times over the last 30 minutes, if not more. Uh, and uh, Actually, again, all of these streets are looking really familiar. We've moved a little bit further to the east and north, but uh, or west and north, uh, towards Willowbrook, but still in the same general vicinity as he's kind of meandered around here, uh, almost looking for attention, again, enjoying the ride. Uh, he's got the, the window's been up and down at times. It looks like the window might be cracked now. I can't get a clear view inside. I do see the reflection there. Um, but uh, other than that, he is going right through another red light here. So these, look at that. Well, one, two, three. Man, so many. 
so many spectators. Phones ready and uh, trying to catch a glimpse. This is gonna have so many More angles. Smoke, smoke coming from that rear, that right rear rim. Every oh wait, he, he just he up sped up. He sped up a little bit. Now closer to 25 miles per hour. He was embarrassed, I guess. Don't look at me, not in my shame. And a little bit of smoke coming from the rear of the vehicle. Thanks, the resub. New Thank in you, the prime gamer. Southbound Santa Fe coming up on Rosecrans Avenue for the umpteenth time during this pursuit. He will have a decision to make there. I guess he could go through, but I think he's going to set up for a turn here. We'll see what happens, but uh, he is coming up on Rosecrans after this after the stop sign here. Several cars there, and another Thanks major of edge. off of his... Off TikTok of his famous idea. by Morning Bottom Easy. There, Rob is yeah, maybe that's the play. That's it's all a clout play. There, yeah. So he's got the red light. Oh, they didn't. They didn't stop this side. Traveling at a snail's pace, he kind of peaked at 30 miles per hour there, and is now crawling once again back up to this intersection. No break. Wait. Slowing. A vigilante's trying to block him. Through the red light. Why that person is doing that? No. Uh, no idea, but you saw that they, they're going to turn around and arrest that guy, I'm unit, telling you. Uh, shine that spotlight right into that vehicle driver's side window. Uh, like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Uh, some more sparks flying now. Some more smoke coming from the rear of the vehicle. Again, those right tires completely gone. Nothing but rim on the right side of the vehicle. Hazard lights on. I bet that on. guy was sitting there for a Looks minute because he had plenty of time. Oh! The drink. There's the drink. It looks like maybe a water bottle. That he I don't know about that. I bet that guy, though, that tried to block him was sitting there for like 10 minutes like, all right, he's coming this way. I can do this. I can be the hero. I can do this. Yeah. Then <laughs> gets arrested for it and also doesn't stop him. Again, he is going south on Santa Fe. Making the turn onto Compton Boulevard. A right turn. Westbound Compton Boulevard to complete the circle. And around and around we go as he continues through the bottom of the 10 o'clock hour, a pursuit going on hour. Uh, he was thinking how bad could 12 miles per hour, per hour hurt. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You think like my car's a piece of Boulevard shit anyway? They'll probably give me a medal for stopping this menace. I'll do it. Drink, both <laughs> and then he half-assed it, so he just pulled out pretty quickly, and it completely didn't work. We'll take him. He has definitely increased the speed. Things at Prime, Dixie. Yeah, I hope we see him again. Like, he starts chasing the guy. Suspect continuing, continuing westbound on Compton Boulevard at a snail's He's pace, one, again, only about 25 miles per hour with CHP right behind him, forming a traffic break. So nobody can really come up behind them here to interfere. So he, they are ready if he does come to a stop. Uh, not seeing many units. I don't think this thing can stop. I'll just tell you. These intersections, quite frankly, uh, awaiting him. I would have anticipated by now we would have seen another spike strip attempt, but we're not seeing that. Just those four or five units right behind him with the helicopter uh, overhead. You see the night sun occasionally in the shot there. He is. Uh, oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Are they finally going to pit him? And somebody's given the go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> him out of control, doing a 180. He is pushing the pedal to the metal and oh. <laughs> another collision with another officer. Oh my See god, him. he's going 12. He's coming around that light pole. He's going 12, Nate. <laughs> spun around in a full 180. Another oh, collision no. with CHP. 
Get the Jeep get guy the back out here. He was closer. Right through those officers in the back there, and away he goes. Another, uh, another pit Oh, there. God. Now it's going to be another two hours oh, before they it, try it that again. really frustrating for these CHP officers. This could not be more frustrating, quite frankly. You just helped him with his U-turn, if anything. It was speed run tech. Watch Commander gives the go-ahead. It looked like a good one, and then he pushes the pedal to the metal, floors it. Not really fast, but certainly made contact uh, Thanks, Larry, with the front end of that one CHP unit. Drove around that pole and is now going eastbound. He's now eastbound on Compton Boulevard. If they God, see Jesus yeah, Christ. They're gonna, they're gonna oh, wait, it's the same guy. Is he going to do it again? Oh, you can't on this street. This one's a little too busy. He's coming back for more. But he is coming, lurking. He's angry. He's got a head of steam. He's mad. Coming back for Make me look silly, huh? If he sees I was the number one pit maneuver expert in the academy. I'll have you know, bub. Come here, buster. Over the paint through another red light oh, he wants it so bad, too. He wants it so bad. Try to make contact once again. Oh, here he comes. Here, oh, here baby. Here comes. Left you won't make a fool of me twice. CHP SUV making contact a full speed. <laughs> oh, I thought the G I thought the cop's car had, like hit one of the barriers. He takes himself out. Oh, god damn it. Third time's the charm. Come on. Officer action out here. Please. Good lord. Alright, here we go. That's... Oh, that's money. That's money. <laughs> He's immune to pit maneuvers. Back to the drawing board. He's too good. He's just giving him a spin cycle. Oh, maybe the plan's to make him dizzy. So that way he like... Oh, this, surely this one. Oh, actually, yeah, that one did work. Okay. That's all she's got. Or maybe... Or maybe... He's still able to run. Gassing it again. He's doing about five miles per hour with... Hey, that's more than zero. Sometimes that's all you need. Ten miles per hour. Coming to a slow crawl... And that is probably it. Yeah, it'll but probably be all man, she wrote. This Kia is Give him one more pit maneuver on the way out. Another possible pit. A little tap on the that ass for good luck. Number six in this pursuit. And let's see. He's going to need to pick up a little bit more speed for an effective pit. But he might have the opportunity here. Yeah, he's just goading him into it. Hey, go a little faster. Come on, idiot. I would expect yeah, show me the accelerator. Pull right up behind that left rear corner once again. Oh, he's going way out. Look at that there radius. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Slow no. Under the overpass. That is Alameda. No, it's been censored by the overpass. Alameda and Rosecrans. Here he is. Officers where they're going. The vehicle. The most crucial pit and they censored it. I'm going to wait a minute just in case things get a little hairy. I don't want any TOS problems here. Thanks, Arisa. Grim, Grim, Sick, Ashton, and the Bits, Sylvie. You're good. They got him? Okay. At a complete stop, face to face, hands up in the air. He's putting up a fight. He is not cooperating. They're dragging him out. That's it. He I don't know about that. He had both hands in the, the air. After he ended up face to face it's like the worst fight ever. With those officers. Must have been one more pit maneuver down there. And now he is nice. being out of the vehicle. Placed what a chase. <laughs> what a chase. Oh, boy. Well, that couldn't end much better. Or much safer because the potential for your <laughs> I love this commentator. He he's very clear he is enjoying it. It couldn't have ended any better. He ta he takes it as entertainment. Six pit maneuvers. It is literally a sport. This suspect into custody.
Thanks a bit, Sylvie, and the Reese of Honey Bones. And the Prime Just. Officers clearing the vehicle. Code 4 given. You can see them about to pop the trunk there. And oh, are we taking that uh, bumper as a souvenir? One driver in custody about to be hauled off to Men's Central Jail after a wild and dangerous pursuit here in Compton. CHP's got their man, and that'll do it for our coverage from up here in Air 7. Keep it right here on ABC7.com and mm. Eyewitness News coming up in just eight minutes. Reporting live from Air 7 HD, I'm Chris Christie, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Great work, Chris. Great work, per usual. Chris is like the John Madden of L.A. police chases. Excellent, as always, Chris. I think what he needs next time, though, is like one of the NFL boards where they start like drawing on it. Like, here's the potential play. What he, what what Andy Reid's most likely looking to do here is going to be a, a slant route. Like, he could do that for these police chases. Like, uh, the suspect's going 25 miles per hour. He's got a couple of options here. If he wants to take the correct uh, the correct route, he's going to want to go down East Compton, where there's less speed bumps. You know, really get into it. Hey there, go ahead, Matt. Oh, hey, Chris. What happened? Did he did he carjack uh, one of the police vehicles? What's what's going on, Chris? I've just been told they're letting him off with a warning. Oh. That must have been an accident. Excellent chase. That was a that was a wild one. And by wild, I mean the slowest chase I've ever seen. But what a what an ending. What an ending.